All right, what's up, guys? Now I'm going to show you live what happens. Uh, this is part two. Here, my Royal Lancers uh, pull through, and they're going to hit the Elite Agathosai. Meanwhile, the Noble Alani is well pulled through, and they get just as clean a charge on my uh, Burgundian Axemen. Now, in this, the Noble Alani stayed in diamond formation while pulling through, which netted them a much lower net uh, charge. They got fewer. Ca they took. Uh, they got fewer kills on the charge, which meant that my Royal Lancers performed better, and my Burgundian Axemen got 23 kills on Noble Alani at the end of the day. So. This is a net victory for me. Let's see. Uh, hmm, I'm not really sure. Uh, you s stay tuned. Stay tuned. All right. So this is uh, yet another um, part of this test. Here, I'm not going to pull through the Elite Agathosa, and we're going to try and see if the Noble Lani can pull through. No, they're having a much more difficult time pulling through my Royal Lancers, and at the end of the day, they don't even get the chance to pull through completely. They get destroyed before and uh, before hitting my Burgundian Axemen. So while on the one hand my regular formation Royal Lancers can easily pull through a Diamond Formation Cavalry unit, the Diamond Formation Cavalry unit can't do the same for me. What this means at the end of everything is, if you pull through, it's a risk. It's a risk that could very easily pay off. So when you pull through, you can destroy the enemy supporting infantry, but on the flip side, your uh, your opposing cavalry can also hit your uh, infantry, your supporting infantry. If you uh, if you both charge and you don't pull through, then the opposing infantry, uh, opposing cavalry, which is in diamond, is going to have a much harder time. It's going to be impossible for it to pull through and hit your supporting infantry. In that sense, your units are in kind. Of, your shock cavalry is in kind of an advantage because you have that option of pulling through. But at the end of the day, it it's still not a clear exploit. There's no real exploit over here. Um, next, we're going to see if this differs in loose formation, if both our units, if everything is on loose formation. Okay, so now we're going to see uh, the exact same thing, but in loose formation, if that makes any difference. I'm going to charge in. I hit his loose wedge formation. And now you can see I'm taking a lot more casualties pulling through, uh, and with him... Let's see, is it, uh, he does get a decent number of kills, but yeah, here is the big, there is the big difference. When your guys, when, when the opposing cavalry, when the melee cavalry is in loose diamond formation, it may, it is much better for the uh, melee cavalry because um, more of the shock cavalry is hit by the loose, by, by the loose formation because the loose formation in wedge uh, is uh, sorry, loose formation in diamond is much wider than uh, regular formation, uh, non-loose formation, tight formation diamond. That's what I. That's what I'm uh, understanding from this. Okay, so now we're going to see the impact of loose uh, diamond formation against uh, tight regular formation. My guys, uh, my, my Royal Lancers were not in uh, loose formation themselves. It seems that in uh, tight formation, the Royal Lancers take fewer casualties against loose wedge. And it seems like the end result is very similar uh, to the original thing that I posted about the, uh, or the original one with the Pushtigban and the Noble Alani. So, if you have shock cavalry, no real reason to put them in loose formation, it seems. If you are the one who's, up, uh, who's faced up against shock cavalry, you should put your guys in loose formation, I think. Um, should you or should you not? I guess it, it leads to the same thing. It leads to the same, same conclusion. Uh, loose formation against regular tight is same as uh, regular tight regular diamond that's what it seems like okay but um, you guys stay tuned because there's another really cool uh, thing that I found out 
um, that we'll get to later. Peace.